Jah Rastafari are the king of kings and the lord of lords. I le Selassie I. So Jesus and a God man, you bow down to a man buried in Ethiopia. You are Babylon. Own them. I began as a gospel rapper. I did a song called Maisha Finje Finje, Mr. Tini Mekata. And that was my journey because people had put me in a box called hip hop. But I was not happy being called a gospel hip hop artist. And that led me to do a research on the origin of the different genres of music, the spiritual implication of music, and the spirituality of music. And out of my vast research, I just discovered one thing. Behind every sound, there is a God being worshipped either consciously or unconsciously. And so, my aim possibly is to show the spiritual repercussion and the spiritual side of sound. And if I don't get time to say anything, my conclusion is very simple. Music will change you without your permission. Because music will get into you without your consent. When I was in hip-hop, I was a hip-hop fan. And I became hip-hop. Wanted to pierce my ears, plate my head, suck my trousers, use the F word. I was just a real gangster. Until now I discovered there is the real OG and there is the original gospel. So we are the real OGs. Devo akutupiangi hook and akutupianga beat. Kwa beat kuna kuanga kumeshkishwa nyama. Samaki kienda kukula nyama inakuta ilimeza hook. Na secular music inakuanga the same. Ayanzangi na the immoral inanzanga na the ordinary. Na maybe tuneza zi divide. Kuna reggae, kuna hip hop, rock and roll, kuna R&B, alafsa tunakuja Tanzania kuna bongo, yoni ni tarabu na bangra mziki ya wa ya, ya, ya wale wa, wa, wa indi. Yon hapo ndio hapo ndio bongo imetoka Kenya utakuja ukute kuna gengeton alafu kila community iko na sound yao Wakikuyu tuko na mugidhi Waswahili wako na tarabu ukienda kwa waluya wako na iskuti na kila mziki ilikuwa na event yake Leo nilikuwa naongea na pasta akaniambia walikuwa wanaenda crusade na wachawi wanatokea wanaanza kucheza chakacha lakini what they are doing they are shifting the atmosphere spiritually ukienda kwa waluya kuna jamal kuja kwa ofisi akaniambia pasta ukifanya research ya circumcision ya waluya kuja uniulize but what he told me on that day wanakuanga na kisu lakini hawana circumciser lakini wataimba na roho itaangukia mtu na huyo jamaa hajaifanya surgery hana background ya medical surgery but ndo atakuwa circumciser so sound iko connected na atmosphere before that tuinge kwa rumba na nini behind every person mwenye anaimba lazima ujiulize spirit yake source yake inatoka wapi because you don't just listen to words you are listening to the spirit that the man carries a prophet of god was in nairobi and he sat in a matatu and he saw a young man with earphones and the matatu was full of sound. And he saw demons going round in that matatu and going round the head of that young man. And his eyes were open on the spirit just to understand how powerful and how deep music is. And how music is recruiting a generation. Majority of the secular artists have an altar that they service. In this kingdom, the moment... In secular you become fame. In the kingdom you become great. But thrones are endorsed by altars. That one you have to understand. 
in the devil sometimes may want you to advance his agenda without consciously servicing his altar. But his agenda is still moving on. So you realize that they package this poison as a good thing. Go and watch a song done by a 21 year old called Montero. The guy is giving the devil a lap dance. They are not hiding. It begins with the garden of Eden. Deception. A snake walking around. And the guy at 21 year old and that guy was introduced among the young people as a child friendly musician 21 year old sound is being used as a tool of evangelism in our generation why it will change the way you think the way you behave without your permission sound has the power to deal with atmospheres look for a message done by miles monroe about the power of the airwaves come to nairobi what is the conversation sex 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 in the morning in the evening in the afternoon you enter an atmosphere that is sexualized and when an atmosphere is sustained it becomes a weather when a weather is sustained it becomes a climate and later it becomes a stronghold and that's why right now because of sound and praising of so many things saizi ku mari mpango wa kando ni the order of the day because that is it the words in music are very powerful because words have inspiration and words are spirits. In, in school, words are grammar. But in the spirit, words are spirits. Angalia watu wengi wa ghetto ni mzikigani uskiza reggae. Angalia declaration ya reggae, born to suffer, born to survive. Do you see anything to smile about? Policeman and a thief in a shootout. So they tell us about what we are going through but no solution. There is power of declaration. Because your mouth carries life and death. Whether you confess knowingly or unknowingly. That is why in, sometimes you can crusade. The fact that people are declaring yesu ni buwana. Kuna anzanga kukwana shift of atmosphere. And their hearts are open. Because already wameanza kwa initiated into Christianity. And that's why we use a lot of praise. So imagine the songs you listen to and, 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 and what you confess, the declarations you make unknowingly or knowingly. Because your tongue is a tongue of a believer, it carries authority. And there are many things I can say. You go to Jamaica, reggae is a religion and they worship Haile Selassie and they believe Haile Selassie is a god and it was used politically so that it can unite them. And that's why they believe that the promised land is Ethiopia. And they believe in the Old Testament. The, 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 the Rastafarians are in the order of the tribe of Levi. That's why you never put a seize upon your dreadlock. Because they've taken the Nazarite vow. They don't believe in the gospel. They believe in the Psalms. They believe in the Torah. And they don't believe in the prophets. And so they have their Bible called the Nembra Kebra. They take weed sacrament. And they believe as they're in that highness, they have entered a spiritual status. So by the time they begin by saying, Jah, Rastafara, the king of kings and the lord of lords. That name Jah is in the book of um, Psalms. It means the one that rides on the wings of the wind. But Rastafara, it means chief Tafari, king of kings, Haile Selassie, was the first king. And Ethiopia was not colonized. Because Ethiopia carried the gospel. That's where we got the Ethiopian eunuch. And because of the gospel, Ethiopia was preserved. So they say Haile Selassie is the king among all the kings of Africa. And that's why they begin by the signature of Jah Rastafari, are the king of kings and the lord of lords, Haile Selassie. Aya. So Jesus and a God man, you bow down to a man buried in Ethiopia. You are Babylon. Own them. Now, so, wo unapenda reggae. Na before hiyo reggae yanze, usha denounce Yesu. Wetu unaosha ma, maviombo duki za manga, ja, Rastafari. There is a land far, far away. Its name, it's Addis Ababa. No, the name of that land is heaven. Atuendi Addis Ababa. So, nandio maana mras akondani ya dini. Si urasu peke. 
and they worship nature that's why they don't take animal and they believe in poverty ni ngumu kutemrasa na endesha range rover kama ni mrasu real because ni mziki ya bondage na most of the rastafarians are doing it for business they use jamaica as a place of shooting rock and roll music is satanic music those ones they don't hide the man that pioneered the sound of rock and roll and as a was a black man he was at the crossroad and a spirit came upon him he played tunes he had never played before and the first song he recorded an album it was called the highway to hell so vile tukona praise and worship satanist wana kuangana rock and roll that's how they worship the devil and they don't hide the skull and that's the origin of gothic and tattoo it's a whole religion r&b means rhythm and blues these were poetry that were supposed to talk about love some of the old songs that were sung by people like in a whitney Houston, who was a church worshiper you don't hear them nowadays is about sex nikushike nikupeleke kwa keja utaona those are the songs some of the songs that are done by the r&b musicians um like there's a song that was done by one chris brown and he was talking about um my guardian angel it is an inscription of ezekiel 28 he's worshiping lucifer so sometimes the angel of god wants to come and visit you in dreams but you're listening to satanic music but it is well crafted using poetry but they know who their source is and that's why in their music video they don't hide you go to bongo here apa to leona oh jamaa naitwa nani ni ni kuna jamali angushwa na chopa na tukaona kipako damu na wangwana na alishuka kwa chopa na boxer amechora amechora nini ndovu kwa mgongo anaitwa nani yes yes uh, and it was on broad you know broad daylight they just tell you these are the altars we serve these are the people we serve that's why every secular musician has an aka that aka is the name of the demon so and so aka that's the demon that helps them it is in records beyonce said i'm um, beyonce but there is a person who gets on stage she's called sasha fierce but you see you don't have the intelligence you just think it's entertainment and this is music that recruits so it will begin from rumba what is the genesis of rumba what is the celebration of rumba what what is the values of rumba at the end of the day now when you come to a young people what are they singing gengeton what is gengeton is a hundred percent sexualized music because all the songs wamlambezo wamnyonyes all this is ochungulu gang all this ngumimbwekse tunazijua si atuhubiri generation atujui ni mnadishi all this you look at their songs you can see the perversion in our generation and it does not go without consequences i was sitting with a doctor at the chambers and she told me every week they have to cut the intestines of young people that are engaging into homosexuality and take out wombs of young children between the age of 13 to 15 because of committing abortion i met with a high school teacher akaniambia during covid majority of their students were impregnated by cousins you can't sit in an atmosphere of packaging okay watch packaging the whole night now now watch video alafu niambia utamka morning ukimbanga hallelujah mtu wa mungu utamka umesema hallelujah na hauna pepo kuna mtu atashika hiyo joke kesho I said, because I know the interest of time, music will change you without your consent. When our sister began to worship, some of us even felt like lifting our hands. It is the power of music. No one told you. And that's why the devil knows the power of music. And in these end times, he has released it to corrupt the mindset of a generation. And we are in the earphone generation and your ear is a gate to your soul. And your eyes are a gate to your soul. So if you're exposed to light, that's what you see. If you ask me, I struggled with secular music because I was an artist. When you go to hip-hop, hip-hop is a whole culture. It's gangster mentality. It's violence. It's guns. Getting children out of wedlock. 
It, that, that's the cult of hip hop, anti system. And that's what they celebrate. But today they don't celebrate that, they celebrate crime. You know, chop my money, this is the money. I got 50 on my rims, hey, 100 on my neck, hey. It is about the last of the eye. It is the God called Mammon. And that's why, Ushaiju Lizambona mtu wa kiomoka, ana kuangatuna kale castingo ka hip hop. Umetremsha vid kio, umekamkono inje. Msia kiu kusalimio na sikia kumambia osapio. Because <laughs> you are doctrinated that when you make it, this is the culture, it took over your mind. And it changes you without your consent. That is what hip hop will do. So we just need to stick to the sound that God gave us and be radical and generate an alternative sound. Is reggae beats bad? Those are just creativities. But the moment you get to the culture of reggae that you need dreadlocks and Rastafarian colors to sing reggae, then we lost you. But you can use that sound and do songs that are of God. Are we together? So I'm not saying that we can't play a rhythm that is considered reggae. No. But the moment you come here and begin to say, Aile Selassie Aya, Jesus Aya, my friend, go out. You can't take us anywhere. That's not of God. May God bless you. I believe that's my time. Thank you for the amazing questions. Um. My name is Pastor Tim Wangi and I want to encourage you to subscribe to Tomb Christian Union YouTube channel and even Facebook page and make sure that you're part of this amazing family. A lot of Christian conversation content is taking place there. Please, play, press, 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 press that red button there for subscribe. God bless you.